This is my radio delay board. Um, it's a latching relay setup. First I'm going to go into how it works, what it does, and uh, then uh, if you're still interested, um, the video will continue with a uh, beginner's guide on how to install a thing. It's, it's actually a lot simpler than you might think. Um, that was the whole point of this board is you don't have to wire up a bunch of re a bunch of wire jumper wires between two relays and put in a diode. This is just five wires. One of them's ground, so it's really only four wires that you have to tap into. It's it's really simple. Um, so let's get into this now. I'm going to demonstrate my new uh, circuit board. This is a uh, my latching relay circuit. Uh, this will keep your car stereo going after you turn off the ignition until you open the driver's door. So here I've got my car, I'm gonna install one in it and I'll demonstrate before and after. This is a um, really old Volkswagen Rabbit, 1981. So it doesn't have the nice new feature of modern cars where you, you get to your destination, you turn off your ignition and the radio stays on. So I'll turn this on, the ignition's on. Let me switch to some radio. Okay, nice radio. Okay, now I'm going to turn the key off. The door is shut right now. The radio turns right off. Oh, that's the annoying beeping Sony. Anyways, um, so what I'm going to do is uh, install this circuit and we'll see how differently the radio behaves afterwards. Let's go ahead and see how this works out. We've got the radio back in the dash. It's all set up. Ignition's off. The radio's off. The driver's door is shut. So let's go ahead and turn the ignition on. Radio comes on. We'll go. Hello, radio. Okay. The radio's working again. So turn the key off. The radio stays on. How nice is that? So I can get my gather, gather up my stuff and get ready to get out of the car, finish the song I'm listening to. The engine's not running anymore. Now, doorknob. Radio turned off. As counterintuitive as it might seem to somebody who doesn't work on automotive electrical for a living, you are going to want to do this with the battery hooked up. The car battery needs to remain hooked up so that you can probe wires, um, especially for like the door trigger, to know which wire you're getting and make sure it actually works. So, uh, it, just expect that you're going to be leaving the battery connected while you do this install. Be careful with uh, wire strippers and bare wires so that you don't short them out, but worst case is you're going to blow the uh, radio fuse or the, the dome light fuse and uh, just know where your fuse box is so you can swap those out when they go and try not to. I've got the radio out of the dash now a bit of jumble of wires here but any aftermarket stereo is going to be nice and simple to do. We've got red, black, and yellow. These are the three wires you need to deal with. If it's a factory radio you're going to have a little bit more trouble. You're going to need to probe and figure out which one is equivalent to the yellow. This is constant power from the battery going to the radio. Um, the black is obviously ground, and red is the switched ignition power. You need the yellow, you need to tap into the yellow. We're going to cut the red and give the relays control of the red, and you just need ground to control the relays. And we're also going to have to track down the door trigger. We'll cover that later on. So let's get this wired up. Over here we've got the uh, the pin out because my silk screen wasn't printed on this first batch of boards. Um, it was supposed to be on here, but it's not. So um, this first black wire is the door trigger. We'll hook that up later. Um, this brown one will go to the cut red wire on the radio side of that red wire. So we'll cut this right here, and the brown will go to the radio side. Then we've got battery 12 volt. That'll tap into the yellow. I conveniently made this wire yellow because I had that color. And then we've got blue, which is ACCN. That'll be the car side of the red wire. And then we've got ground, which is just going to tap into the black, or otherwise get screwed to a good ground, but might as well tap into the black. Here's a bit of a work in progress. I've got everything except the door trigger wired in. 
I will probably label these wires when I ship them so they got little flags on them so you know which is which. Anyways, um, the yellow it comes up and I stripped the middle of this uh, yellow going to the radio. Sorry about the poor lighting. Um, so, and I just wrapped it around it. Um, here is the red. The blue goes to the car side of the red wire. And the brown comes up and goes to the radio side of the red wire. I just cut it, spliced them together, wrapped it. Um, if you're feeling ambitious, you could solder these. Um, being car stereo stuff, I usually don't. I just uh, wrap it with some electrical tape. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cover these three with electrical tape. Oh, and the ground. I just went and crimped it on the other side of that butt connector I had for the ground. Um, but generally any good ground source will work for that. Now, I've got everything done um, except the door trigger. You're probably going to need to extend this wire to go to your door trigger. So uh, grab some spare wire you got laying around, splice it onto this, and we're going to run it to about the driver's kick panel over here on the floor where the uh, we've got a door pin right here. This is the, uh, the button that knows when the door is open and turns on the dome light. We're going to tap into There's a single wire going to those on most every car and we're going to need to tap into that wire. We'll cover putting this in the dash now. Now we got a couple of solder pads here that are exposed for all these wires and then this relay or this diode right here that's kind of exposed. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this into this relay pack with uh, electrical tape just to keep it safe. Everything inside my dash is plastic so it'd probably be okay. Uh, but uh, just, uh, just to give you a proper procedure. Okay. We've got a loop of electrical tape on here so nothing will short, and we got padding on the back to keep the uh, relay contacts from shorting. we still got these two nice holes, and if you need all four, they're still under the electrical tape. Or you can even put this in a project box, but I was trying to keep the price down and not use a project box. So, and just uh, if you have somewhere in your car you'd like to zip tie this, that'll keep this from rattling around. One thing I want to cover at this point, we've got it all wired in except for the door trigger wire that we've got to extend and run down to the door trigger. This uh, relay pack is powered up and we can make sure that it's actually working um, and that it's got good power and ground. Um, take the door trigger and you just tap the radio case and if you listen carefully, we'll get nice and close. Sorry about the focus. Okay, listen carefully. I'm not making good contact with the radio, so that's why it's kind of chattering. But you can hear the relay is clicking, which means that the uh, the one that opens the loop will uh, work. I'm just going to toss this back here. So I'm going to just toss it in the hole there, and it will go back there. And we can put the radio back in. Plenty of room in there for that to just kind of hang out. The simplest way to figure out what color wire you're looking for under your dash for the door trigger is to simply unscrew the door trigger, this one had one screw in it, and pull it out of the hole. you got to be careful not to yank the wires off of it, but I got mine out, and I've got two wires on mine, which uh, some cars do, especially on the driver's door. you got one for the buzzer and one for the dome light or something along those lines. I've got a brown and a gray. So we'll put that back in the hole, screw it back in, and I'll show you how to test for this circuit. Okay, I've got my hand with a probe in it reading one of these wires. 0.44. Now I'm going to press the door trigger. It goes up to 12. But then it goes down to 0.046 when the door is open. So that's that's ground. Here's the wire I'm probing. Oh, the lighting is horrible. But anyways, so that's the wire I need to tap into. It's up here above my clutch pedal by a fuse box. But it's going to be generally in this kick panel area. So this one's right above my kick panel. It's coming right out of the kick panel. So I'm going to splice into that wire. Okay, the wire's now hooked up. We've got the, if you listen carefully, you can hear it click. That's the door trigger. 